Sir Isaac Newton, a brilliant physicist, developed three laws of motion. These laws are fundamental principles in physics. They explain how objects move and interact with forces. We can use simple models to understand these laws. Imagine a box. Now picture it with arrows representing forces. This helps us visualize how forces affect an object's motion. These laws are not just theoretical, they are essential for understanding how airplanes fly. From takeoff to landing, every maneuver can be explained by Newton's genius. Let's explore how these laws govern the world of aviation. Newton's first law states that an object at rest will stay at rest. Similarly, an object in motion will continue moving in a straight line at a constant speed. This is unless an external force acts upon it. For airplanes, these forces can include wind, turbulence, or even the pilot's control inputs. This tendency to resist changes in motion is called inertia. Inertia is a fundamental concept in physics and plays a crucial role in aviation. Think of an airplane cruising at a steady altitude and speed. The forces acting on it are in perfect balance. The forces on it are balanced. Thrust from the engines counteracts drag, allowing the airplane to maintain its speed. Thrust from the engines counteracts drag. This balance is essential for stable flight. Lift from the wings balances the airplane's weight. This lift is generated by the airflow over the wings. If no unbalanced force acts on the plane, it will continue flying straight at the same speed. This is a perfect demonstration of inertia. This is inertia in action. Understanding inertia helps pilots maintain control and ensure a smooth flight experience. Newton's second law explains how force, mass, and acceleration are related. This fundamental principle is crucial in understanding the dynamics of flight and how airplanes maneuver through the skies. It states that the acceleration of an object is directly proportional to the force applied. In aviation, this means that the more thrust an engine produces, the faster the airplane will accelerate. It is also inversely proportional to its mass. Therefore, the heavier the airplane, the more force is required to achieve the same acceleration. This means a larger force produces a larger acceleration. For instance, a powerful jet engine can propel an airplane forward with great speed. A heavier object will accelerate less under the same force. This is why fully loaded cargo planes require more runway to take off. Imagine a pilot increasing the engine's throttle. This action is a direct application of Newton's second law in aviation. This action increases the force of thrust, which in turn, increases the airplane's acceleration. The airplane, in response to this unbalanced force, accelerates and gains speed. This is a clear demonstration of how force and mass interact in flight. This is a clear example of Newton's second law. The principles of force, mass and acceleration are constantly at play in aviation. A heavier, fully loaded airplane will need more thrust to achieve the same acceleration as an empty one. This is why understanding these principles is essential for pilots and engineers alike. Newton's third law states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. This fundamental principle is a cornerstone of physics and is crucial in understanding how forces interact in our world. This means forces always come in pairs. Whenever you push on something, it pushes back with an equal force. This is why you feel resistance when you try to move an object. When one object exerts a force on another, the second object exerts an equal force back on the first, but in the opposite direction. This interaction is evident in many everyday situations. A jet engine provides a perfect example of this law in action. The mechanics of flight heavily rely on these principles. It expels hot gases backward with tremendous force. This is the action. The expelled gases create a powerful thrust. The reaction is the airplane being propelled forward. This forward motion is what allows the airplane to take off and stay in the air. This is how the engine generates thrust, pushing the plane through the air. The balance of forces ensures smooth and controlled flight. Similarly, the wings of an airplane generate lift by deflecting air downwards. This downward deflection creates an upward lift force. These laws are fundamental to our understanding of flight and many other physical phenomena. They help us design better aircraft and understand the dynamics of motion. By understanding these laws, we can better appreciate the marvels of aviation and the universe around us. The principles of action and reaction are not just theoretical. They are observable in the world around us every day.